Linda Tony Barr is a local author and artist. She enjoys taking poetry and filming messages in the prison system. Linda Tony Barr. Um, I'll start with, hi, my name is Linda and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, hi Linda, and then I can talk. <laughs> Uh, my sobriety date is June 1st, 1984. I've been clean and sober for 32 years. I got sober at age 23, and um, I did not rehearse this part. But after sitting on the stage with all of this cast, um, I have just felt the need to qualify to be here. and. Um, like I said, I've been sober 32 years. I'm a sexual abuse survivor. I have eating disorders. I suffer from depression. Um, I keep it between the ditches as best I can, but it takes a lot of work. And um, being a part of this has been very eye-opening for me. And I hope that it's also motivating me to take some more actions in my life. We'll see. I do take programs into the prison system. I get to film the inmates as they read stories to their children and then we send the video and the book home and the children then get um, a bedtime story. I also take programs in, we do, uh, it's called Poetic Justice and we teach poetry to the women at Mabel Bassett Center. And this is a poem that I wrote um, a few weeks ago. It's called Poetic Justice not yet. Cinder block painted gray, barbed wire curled of razor sharp point in all directions, loud clanging as the door slams behind me, echoing into the white sterile hall. These are our women, our mothers, our daughters, our sisters, our aunts, Look into the eyes of these women who never stood a chance from the beginning. Errors made, not in their defense. Errors made against their innocence. Survivor, their innocence stolen in tragic stories beyond your comprehension. We squint our eyes tight, squeezed as to not see the truth for what it is, the reality of their stories the tragedies that we cannot look at because it is too horrific. The traumas injured as children that turn into silence in the inner brain, a buzzing, the buzzing, the buzzing, the constant buzzing in the inner brain, telling a story, denying a story, hiding the story. There is no story, a story <clears throat> in the buzzing, in the brain, in the middle of the brain, silence the story, silence the story any way we can. Silence the story with a glass pipe, a needle, a bottle, a bong. Silence the story in sex, in lust, in relationship, in love, in desperate attempts, attempts to find that knight in shining armor who will rescue the story from itself then he becomes the story. He becomes the story, the tragedy, the trauma, the abuse, as it perpetuates itself in an ongoing pattern. If we did not pick him, then we will provoke him. Bruises on arms, wrists and fists, eyes blackened and swollen lips. He loves you. That's all you need is love. He loves you. He hits you, you cannot leave, for if you do, you'll have to face the buzzing in your brain, telling you you have no worth. He tells you you have no worth, but he loves you like your daddy couldn't, or like your daddy did on days he shouldn't. And the lostness spins in the buzzing brain. Trauma sings in silent buzzing, the constant buzzing, still a car, Write a check, cop a charge, catch a case. The buzzing won't slow down. Meds, they say, it's bipolar. It's personality disorder. It's depressive disorder or ADD. 
It's OCD, but no, I call it PTSD. Can't sleep at night, leave on the light, sleep all day, can't stand the fight, rage at the kids, nothing's right. He's gone again, yeah, that's right. Trying to make it, the stress is winning, the poverty is winning, the buzzing is winning, spinning out again while your daddy plays golf and Bill Cosby plays golf and the priests play golf and the Penn State coaches play golf. And the little turd from Stanford got six months for 20 minutes of a drunken fuck up. And his victim is smeared through the papers and the courts and the dumpsters of our minds while his daddy plays golf. My name is Linda Barr and this is my brave. <laughs>